Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen about the provide and index, inject, and also the reactivity. How to do the reactivity of the provide and inject? We have seen, right? Now in this video, what we will try to do is so we are sending the data, right? So we are sending the data instead of props. We are sending using the provide and inject. Can we send the same thing the custom events also? Okay, we are sending only the value, right? So can we do the same thing using the custom events also? Can we? Can we? Uh, do the same thing with the custom events also for the custom events also so let's see in this video before continuing this video if you are coming first time to here please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that i'll be posting more and more front-end development courses now coming to this video here let's see here what i will try to do what i will try to do is in this video or in this example if i change here the click to change username automatically all the places it is changing that, that means we are changing it in the parent parent in the parent so here we are changing in the parent component right so that is the reason it is changing now what i will try to do is i will try to change it in the child component the same name so whatever the name i am getting here through the provided inject i will change the name here so that everywhere it has to be changed so that means i need to emit an event to the parent component and i need to change the name here this dot user so that it should be sent to all the child components right now what I will try to do is so here if I try to click here so what I can do is here I will write something like do change user sorry I will write anchor link and here I will write change user now what I will try to do here at the rate click dot prevent change user okay so I will write a method change user. Now this method will be we will be getting from the it is a custom event. Okay. So now I will write it change user here. So it is injecting this event custom event is getting injected from us. So now this change user, what it will happen is we need to mention it in the provider. Okay. Here I can write it as something like change user and I will write this dot change user like. Okay, I can call this method directly. And the data what we have will be trying to send it here from the post user. Now here what I will try to do. Here I will try to send that updated Leela from tail or something like this. Okay. Okay, now what I can do here I can go and here I will be getting the data, right? So the user, I will take the user like this. So here I can write if user is there. So that means if the data is coming so just update it with the user or else to the normal default one so i reused this method just so what is happening here so now the post user what it is trying this so here here we are having in the provide we are having change user so the the variable and this change user is nothing but what it will reflect is it will reflect this one okay what i can say the method and here what i will be trying to do is in the post user whenever the user clicks on this one we are we are calling this custom event if we the taking that value and automatically it will execute this change user and immediately it will, it will execute it so let's this user if it is change means as it is a computed thing all the places it will be reactively it will be affected now let's try to see the output here if i refresh it here now you will be getting the change user link here and here also you'll be getting now if i click on this change user see updated leela from change wherever we are using this way here in this one in the single post also we used this variable right so we have used this one in the single post also here also we have used there we have you see here user dot value automatically it has been changed automatically the reactivity is working so this is how we can send the custom event also we can receive the custom event also from child to parent so that we can update the data whatever we are getting from the uh, from the uh, child also okay so this is how we can use the provided inject for the parent to child communication now you'll be getting a doubt that whether i need to use the props or custom events or i need to use this provide inject or custom events why because if you observe this props this props and inject is doing one and the same only right if you observe this user data we are getting it from the parent and this props data is active also we are getting it from parent only why can't we use this props you can ask me so according to this one what i can say is 
most probably whatever the thing is useful please use this props and custom events concept only the whatever the concept this dot dollar remit and all those things we have discussed right so try to use those concepts only instead of using this provided inject when you use this provided inject is so when you are having a long chaining component child component so from parent to child component in between this uh, parent to child you are having so many childs means then it is better to use this provided inject so that passing from child to child child to child it will be difficult or otherwise code redundancy will be there so other than this one most probably uh, it's better to use this props and custom events only instead of using this provide and inject so, and also why why because if you use this provide and inject if you see the code here the provide and inject if you see here you will be not able to understand that where this provide in this injecting will be using in in which child you will be using for example this app dot view it if it has in an internally, 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 so many child. If the project is very big, you will be not able to decide that you you need to go on dig on to the child, 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 and you need to check everything. So this one will be a it, actually to, that one will be doable, but it will be a little bit of code. Uh, so new developers and all this thing, they see the code, they'll find it a little bit of difficulty. Okay, so that is the reason. So provide an inject if you you if you want, you can use that is your personal thing. So we have in the view concept in the view thing, so you can use. But most probably my opinion is to use the props and custom events. So if you have a long chain, chain, chain like that, so it's better to use this provided link. Okay. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.